Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale. Today we're going to look at part of my collection for the German half track of the 250 series. Uh, we've already looked at the big collection of the 251. That's the standard one that's longer. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. This is the shorter half track. Very similar, but you can see the, the hood area is equal to the personnel area. The other one is longer, and that's the 251, and this is the 250, and then they all have a stroke number, and then they describe the various uh, types. I have some other ones, specifically Desert War and so forth, but this is what I could find right now to do this. A couple of these are uh, the same model, like th these two. These are similar, and then they're different. And then there's also another main difference <clears throat> before I get into each one. Is it was the original model, which is this shape with the door like this. And then there's the later one, which they call the Nui, or the new, where it's slanted and simplified. And the front is much different. See how this is just like that? And this has more angles to it. So this is the newer style for the late war, and this was the standard one. <clears throat> Let's look at these first. We've got some folks in here. We've got a 37 millimeter gun on here. And this is done in <clears throat> the mid to late war, sand with green and red brown. Kind of a simple brush stroke on that. Always tough to make these wheels here and these rubber band tracks on these. You have to forgive me on a lot of these brands. I don't remember which one is which because so many brands for this scale and so much time has gone by. Uh, this guy's here. He's got a little something there. Got the machine gun on the back. Looks like the MG-34. And then they had the MG-42. Markings on there. Tools. Got the door open. This one has three people in it. They look like they're a little bit more relaxed. This is... Uh, Sand with the red brown, and then got the weathering on there. Another one with the 37, but this one doesn't have the machine gun on it. Yeah, so these guys are more in a relaxed pose. I don't think <coughs> these came with uh, these figures because I have a lot of figure sets too, so not too bad for this tiny, tiny little scale to paint. This one's nice with just the green on there. And look at this one. He's got uh, just one fella. It's got two machine guns. Back door is closed. Got a gas can, some ropes. It's got some accessories. There's the license plate numbers and more of the decals. And this guy's got some rifles stored in there and some more gear down below. And some extra gears. So I put that in there. There's the bench. The driver sits down in there. This guy is using his own personal weapon there. Looks like he's got a Smizer machine gun. There's a, just a basic one. You can see it didn't have that big of a crew. It's more like a half squad. And gray. This one's neat because this is, like I said, the new shape. And then this one has the stummel gun. So they did put that on this teeny one as well as on the, the larger. That's the same type of gun that was on the early Sturmgeschutz and the Mark IV when it started out, the short-barreled 75 millimeter. See how different that looks compared to uh, this? They simplified the, the design. Had to use less plates. It was more economical. 
This guy's got a sort of a grayish green outfit. And this one is a resin model, so there wasn't that many parts to it. And you can see how it doesn't have as much detail. It's not as crisp and clean. They did a pretty good job on it. And then it's got the machine gun. And then this one is nice. This one, I think, is like Altaya brand. This is heavy, and it's cold to the touch there. It's a metal die cast. You can see uh, where it was screwed into the base. And this is cool. It's got the same uh, hang of it type uh, little turret with the 20 millimeter and the machine gun. Same uh, turret that they put on some of the other armored cars, especially the early 222 armored car. So it's got a nice look to it. Three color camouflage. So this is the new again shape. That helps protect from uh, fragments or grenades throwing in. They open up to the side and it would have, uh, believe, I think, a crew of three. So you see, I can get it to turn a little bit here. Very nice. Back there, license plate and some insignias. So very nice. I was excited when I saw that one. I was able to get that one. A lot of these things were probably made in the 2000s to maybe early 20 teens. This is 2022 when I'm doing this now. All right. I'm line them up for a second. So that's a look at the other basic havecraft that had a lot of different uh, variations the 250 the short and it's all of its little glory there it's kind of a fun one to have on the board and make a good dioramas with until next time thank you for watching my friends